Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, so as you all know that it's insanely hot nowadays. Uh, so what I have decided that I'm going to paint a beach today using watercolors. Uh, uh, so let's start. You just need a piece of paper that is 300 grams uh, sheet and I'm going to just uh, tape it up all on the edges for the white border and uh, I hope you will like it. So I'm going to tape up a line here to make a horizon so it should be nice and straight. We also need a paper towel like small pieces of paper towel uh, for the clouds. Uh, I actually used different shades of blue and brushed it up really concentrated at the top and then added more water to my brush and used that brush to bring the pigment down. As you see, it's super bright at the top and lighter at the horizon. Just mix it up and blend it. Then I took my little torn piece of paper towel and dab it at the paint to lift some paint out, revealing the white paper underneath. And that's going to make clouds. So if your paper towel gets saturated, take the fresh piece and make your desired amount of clouds. Let us dry and just take off the tape that is holding the horizon. I want the water that is far away to be dark, so I'm taking the darkest blue uh, for that part and I made the line all across the page near the horizon. Then I dipped my brush in water and I used the clean water to bring the paint pigment down. And I did this angle because that will make your painting look more interesting. And then I added more blue to saturate it. Then more water to my brush to soften up the edges. You can use more clear water because water will make it more smoother. And if you feel the edges are sharp, you can dab the paper towel to lift some paint out. So now we are going to add the sand and for that I used my dirty yellow color and mixed it with brown and uh, mustard color and now I'm adding it a bit lower to the water leaving a gap between water and sand, uh, the white space. I'm going to make it look like a sand as much as possible. Once you get the right color just add it up where you want your beach to be. Make sure you leave some white space in between water and sand. That's going to be like a sea, fo sea foam. Now we are going to add some grass. So for that first layer, I'm using the lightest green. Let this layer dry up. Now I'm adding the second layer of a bit darker green on the top of that first layer to make the grass look thick. Furthermore, I'm adding a third layer of uh, bottle green color to give a negative effect. Just keep on adding the grass layer by layer, but be sure that you wait for the first layer to get dry. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add small little birdies on the sky with my fine liner. Now if you have any trouble ripping off your tape, just heat it up with your hair dryer and then you are good to go. Ta-da! I'm done with my summer drawing. I hope you liked it.